similar triangle tests. So if two figures are similar, if they're the same shape, but different size. And in similar finger, similar figures, all matching angles are equal, but side, so the side lengths are in different proportions. Well, same sides are in the same, all sides are in the same proportion, but yes, the sides will be actually different. Let's have a look. So for congruent, for similarity, we state two triangles are similar, like so. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So the symbol we use is, is almost like the congruency symbol, but the lines are vertical. So this means similar to. Let's look at the tests. There's four tests we can use to prove if triangles are similar. Let's have a look at some. So let's have a triangle with side lengths 2, 3, and 7. And here we've got a bigger triangle, but it's the same shape with sizes 4, 6, and 14. And these are similar because if you multiply every side here by 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 times 2 is 14. So every side has the same scale factor, 2, to get to this one here. And the test we'd use here, we'd say that 3 sides are in equal proportion. Now, we can't use side, side, side. We can't use the abbreviations like we do in congruency. We actually, we actually have to write out what I'm writing out here. So three sides are in equal proportion. Let's look at another test. Ten and twenty, four and eight, and this angle equaling this angle. Now here we have two sides in equal proportion, being the ten and twenty, and four and eight, because again, times in ten by two and four by two gives us corresponding sides in the other figure, and the included angle, so again, the angle in the middle of the two sides is equal. So what we have to say here is two sides are in equal proportion and the included angle is equal. Right. So kind of similar to side angle side, but we can't use that abbreviation. Let's look at another test. So if we know this angle equals this angle, this angle equals this angle, and this angle equals this angle, we also know the triangles are similar. And we can say that they're equiangular, which means all three angles are equal. Just note that once you prove that two angles are equal, automatically the third angle has to be equal because we know the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So to prove the two triangles are equiangular, you only need to prove two angles are equal, not three, because the third one's automatically equal. One more test. Let's look at these two triangles, where the right angles are the same. This is 2 and 6, and 5 and 15. Here we've got right angle being equal, and if you multiply both of these sides by 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 
3 times 5 is 15. So those two are in equal proportion, and we have a hypotenuse in equal proportion and a remaining side in equal proportion. It could be this side, but just chosen this side. And here we can say that one side and the hypotenuse are in equal proportion. and equal right angles. And there are four similar triangle tests. Let's have a look at an example on how we can apply this. A, B, C, D, and E. And all we know is this side is parallel to this side. And we want to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDC. So when you're not given any information about the sides, it's very likely that the triangles are going to be equiangular. So let's have a look. To write the test, it's very, it's almost like writing the congruent test. So we can say in triangle ABC and triangle EDC. So we have to give our intro line talking about the two triangles we're dealing with. Then we need three proofs with reasons and if we're lucky we might only even need two if it's equiangular and then we're going to need our conclusion okay so let's work on some proofs well the first thing we can do is that we know that these two angles are equal because we have two lines that cross over, so we're going to have vertically opposite angles that are equal. So let's write that. So we can say angle ACB equals angle ECD because vertically opposite angles are equal. Try and write it on one line, I'm just running out of room. What else can we say? Well, we have two parallel lines. And whenever we have parallel lines and transversals, we can use our alternate angles or corresponding angles or co-interior angles. And this time, we're going to be using some alternate angles. Because with this parallel line and this parallel line, we have a transversal. And we'll be able to say that this angle is going to equal this angle. I could have said also that this angle equals this angle for the same reason. Let's go with the green ones. So we can say that angle ABC equals angle EDC. So remember, it's important when we name our angles that the letter in the middle is where the angle's at. So the green ones are B here, so B is in the middle, and the green ones are D, and D is in the middle. We have to give our reason now. And the reason is that alternate angles on parallel lines are equal. And since we've proven that two angles are equal, that's enough, that's all we need because automatically the third one's equal because of angle sum of the triangle. So we can go straight to our conclusion. Therefore, 
triangle ABC, so we're repeating that top line, but we're replacing in with therefore, we're replacing and with similar to, triangle EDC, we have to give our reason, and in this case, it's because they're equiangular. Thank you.